Screaming wouldn't do shit. <laughs> He's on my butt. Yo, he's trying to grab me. Oh, fuck. Yo, what up, guys? It's Killer Variety, and welcome to the Lancaster League O'Brien State Park, episode one. So we got, a, we got a series here. We got a little series here. I saw they had episode two, so we're starting off with episode one. You control the found footage. An FBI intern leaked special investigation tapes before suddenly disappearing. The first tape of the series contains found footage from O'Brien State Park, revealing the true events that were caught that were covered up in the 1980s. So we're controlling found footage. Oh, I actually that's dope. I like games like this. I really love games where you control the found footage. We've recently been playing a lot of those and we just we've been loving it. This one's gonna be dope too. Reminds me of, of the alien one we did. We did a couple other ones, but the alien one that one really stuck with me. But yeah. All right, guys. So without further ado, we're going to jump into this one. Wish us some luck. <sighs> Following tape and many others were record were recovered by the FBI intern Valerie Bardot and given to us. Valerie, leaving without a trace, she suddenly went missing at the end of her internship in the Lancaster. Well, this is a cursed tape. Foul play suspected. Foul play. So long as Valerie is missing, these tapes will continue to be leaked. We gave you a chance, and this will be your last. Permission conveyed through this debrief training tape pertains to a prior investigation. It is imperative that agents refrain from viewing this material unless they possess the appropriate clearance and are under the direct supervision of an instructor. Any failure to comply... Case number 129876, tape purpose debrief date, August 25th, 1988, clearance TS, O'Brien State Park, picture one, everybody on the boat, previously inhabited by both Dakota and Ojibwe tribes, it is now home to year round camper and, and hikers, the park along with other state parks up north has experienced an Bro, I can't read that fast. I can't. Developer, I can't read that fast. Subject, Bradley Kaufman. August 25, 1980. Bradley Kaufman, 59-year-old male, visited O'Brien State Park unaccompanied. The subject's behavior during his visit was unusual as he intermittently started recording. Subsequently, on August 26, the subject was reported as missing. His body was discovered on August 30, and the recovered footage from his recording device will now be presented in chronological order accompanied by the annotations. Subject picture too, bro. Developer, you gotta stop with the. I completely missed half of the, the story. Text was just too fast. Oh, we end this shit. Holy crap! What the fuck was that? I thought I saw a light source in the woods, bro. Don't start off like that. So we're campers. Is that it? So. I didn't even read what it said down there. They would notice it. So we're clear to campers. Now, is this Valerie and that guy that are camping right now? Or is this somebody else? 10 p.m. The subject would occasionally zoom. Oh. It's telling me how to control the character. Well, I freaking missed the first instruction it told me. They need to make that starting text like slow down until we finish reading or freaking let us click to continue. This is my car. Okay, nice. I'm about to hop in and get out of here. I'm about to hop in and get out of here. So what am I investigating? Got a grill. I'm about to I'm about to cook something. Getting hungry. But to go to sleep, say less. What the fuck was that? Okay, I thought I saw some shit. Well, I found the road. Wait, the subject turned right, went to the bathroom. 
Well, what if I had the subject turn left and didn't listen to you? Should I be listening to what the... Why do I gotta find a bathroom? If you're camping out here, use the damn bathroom right there. There's something over there. Oh, that's the bathroom. Okay. Now we're camping, but we want to be civilized. There's a full moon too, bro. Wait, somebody else is here. There's another camper. Why can't I go over there? There's a road. I mean, I want... The bathroom is right there. What's your, what you mean, bro? All he said was I turn. All, all he said was I turn right and I was going to go look for a bathroom. Is that not for me? So what is that Valerie? Oh my fucking god. Fuck, I'm camping out here with a psychopath. Shit, bro. You saw how he beeped the car so I could turn around. Why am I gonna check it out? It's not my problem. It's not my car, right? Get the fuck out of here. I'm fucking scared. Even with the zoom shit, I can't really see nothing. Oh, I do have a light. Bro, I can't. There's nothing in. There's nothing written on that. I can't read nothing. Oh. Oh, we got some fancy bathrooms. Oh, it looks so dark and creepy. Why is there a ton of bugs in here? What the fuck is that? Listen, I just, I just came to use the toilet. Okay. I'll, I guess I want to investigate who's taking a shower. This is the steam from the bathroom. Somebody left a shower. Subject stops filming, then takes a shower. It is estimated 10 minutes elapsed before the subject films again. I can't read it. Nobody can read that fast, bro. That was a quick shower, bro. I don't know if I'm playing as Valerie or the guy, but yo, 10 minutes. You sure you scrubbed real good? You sure you got in there between the cheeks? Just saying. It looked like you brought your own soap. Don't tell me you use a dirty ass soap from this place. Fuck. Why is the light flickering? Also, doesn't she think it's weird that the showers were on? And she says she needed to use the bathroom. Never said that she needed to fucking uh, shower. Somebody was in here because that door was damn locked, I think. Oh, I'm out. This way you can't go camping alone, bro. You gotta, you always need backup. Is you run into a psychopath. So I'm, I'm heading back, right? The cycles love to live somewhere where they can feel free away from people watching them. The 
Psychos love to be away from people, away from where they can be seen. They love being in the woods. Someone loves to go to the woods. You got to suspect them of being a psychopath. Oh, it's another car. Okay, so there's a whole community of people just hiking up here. I mean, camping out here. Which, realistically, they're not really camping, camping. I mean, it's like... It's a modern version of camping. Like, they have a shower and a bathroom right there. And they're literally camping. And like You can do this at your own backyard. That's my car, right? So the, there's two other cars that I've seen so far, but the one that the one that was beeping was the pickup, I think. There was somebody in the bathroom when I was showering. So, oh my God! Pause. Upon return to the campsite, an unknown figure stands near the subject's tent. Near the campground records or witnesses recall seeing a white male of this profile. Why this person was there, who they are still remains unknown, but is not being actively pursued. The largest jump of times happens at this point, with an estimate of one to two hours time elapsed. The recording resumes with the subject two miles in the Hardwood Hills loop. Why the subject started... The hike is not relevant to the burials investigation. I don't like how they're kind of like the way they're talking. I feel like the FBI is in on it. Like the subject, the reason they went on this hike in the first place doesn't concern us. The reason why the tape started filming two hours later, it doesn't concern us. Like what? And apparently the identity of the person that showed up is not important. That doesn't make sense. Yo, the full moon got bigger. So right now I'm playing as Miles. Different guy. So was I Valerie before? I am beyond confused. Oh, Valerie got snatched. Had to be that guy with the pickup. Don't know if I'm going the right way. The fuck was that, bro? Also, who hikes at night? You fucking hike in the daytime, bro. Well, I am following a road of sorts. But bro, you hike in the daytime, you don't hike at night. Oh my god. Oh shit, the fucking grass scared me, the way that it popped up. Okay, that would have been more scarier if not for the fact that the grass scared me more. It put me on alert. That animal actually was running away from something. It was terrified. I doubt I was the one that scared it because it came from a different direction. That ain't that ain't no deer. That ain't no freaking deer. That ain't a, unless that was a deer dying. Unless a deer got bodied because they're running that direction. Some kind of creature out here in these freaking in these freaking woods. 
Listen, I don't taste good. Okay. I haven't bathed in, in like months. Okay. I've been hiking. I'm sweaty. Those weird lights is oh my god Homie was this the deer that ran away? Look at his guts. The this the diseased deer the Oh my god Encounter disease diseased deer attacked by entity. The film abruptly ends after subject detects entity in vicinity. Subject exhibits distress and flees off trail. Entity pursues subject and can be heard in proximity. Resumes filming approximately four minutes after pause. This makes the final pause. Bro, I gotta run for my life? You motherfuckers. Oh! Subject is audible for the first time, displaying emotions of fear. Bro, something killed a deer and ate its guts. And it's chasing me. Bro. The fuck is coming after me? What is that noise? That ain't no, that ain't no animal. Bro, I'm screwed. It's all woods. There's no, there's, there's no civilization in miles. There's no screaming wouldn't do shit. <laughs> He's on my butt! Yo, he's trying to grab me! Oh, fuck me! Subject struggles against the entity but sets away. Camera is severely damaged. Entity but gets away. I got away? Was that the creature or me? Those are the creatures. Oh, that was a creature and that was me. Subject blood creeps into frame. Wait, I'm, I'm confused. What is what is that getting dragged off over there? I'm confused. Brady Kaufman's death would occur over the next five minutes. The remaining footage has been cut short for your discretion. Additional entities can be heard and would later fight over the remains. The footage ends. Oh, man, I wish I could read that. Subject remains were found scattered. Most flesh was consumed. Little personal items remained intact. The public was told it was an abnormal bear attack. Death scene. Trivia found. Uh, tibia found. 0.5 miles away. Autopsy. Case relevance. The subject's film was the first footage capture of S0012. Ultimately, the subject's footage provided the bureau proof to extend finding and special operation to contain entities. This case marks the first of many successful entity resolution. Entity debrief name Wendigo. Risk severe cont containability three. That's a Wendigo. Our creatures originated from the Native American tribes of the Great Lakes region. The malevolent supernatural beings bring terror to forest dwellers and are linked to numerous missing persons cases, tall and emaciated. Looking Wendigo's bear, uh, bear athletic something. According to recent intelligence, there has been a notable resource, resurgence of the Wendigo and their geographical distribution has now expanded southward towards the Minneapolis. In response to this emerging threat, the burial has established a joint task force in collaboration with the Canadian CIS. Oh my God, bro. I can't read that. It is imperative to maintain strict operation security and keep the general public uninformed of these operations to prevent any unnecessary panic or interference. What are you fucking talking about? If you tell the public, they can stay their ass away from the... From, well... 
story doesn't end here. Yeah, I know there's a part two. I work as a something. Consider joining the disc. Oh, okay. that was crazy, guys. Wow, that was crazy. So there was more than one creature. That's why I got confused. I was like, wait, but if I died over here, then who died over there? The creatures were killing each other, fighting over who gets to eat me. Wow, they were Wendigos. That's why you can't camp at night. That's why you can't camp. You can't camp. Hiking in the day is fine, but get your ass back before night. Even then it's dangerous. But damn, I was wrong. I was thinking it was one of the other people camping with me. But no, it was actually we were all fucked. We were all killed probably that night. That's crazy. And this is a part two. So I'm actually curious to know if part two will be the same type of creatures or a different entity. That's fucking crazy. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. That was the Lancaster Leak O'Brien State Park episode one. Make sure you guys subscribe and like down below. I'll catch you in the next one. All right. Peace. I love you. Ooh.